in this video you will learn more about the show and hide tool now show and hide tool when do we use this when we will be using when we'll be creating jewelry designs let's say example we'll be working with a lot of diamonds and rings multiple objects multiple objects on the screen at that time we would want to see specific objects and hide specific objects at that time we will require the show and hide tool especially when there are multiple objects on the screen and when you want to concentrate on a specific object show and hide option would definitely be useful for this purposes we would be creating multiple objects on the screen to start we create a sphere we create a cylinder and we create a box on the screen so that we have multiple objects on the screen i create the box cylinder spear if you noticed i created the spear in the front view so that i can see it right now in the center because if i make it in the top it's placed somewhere at the down for example if i make it in the top view you can see in the front view it's on the x axis that's the reason i created here in the front view okay now i select my box i have the show and hide tool here in my standard toolbar if you take the mouse over it it shows you the left click is show objects and the right click if you take your mouse over it it shows you that the left click is hide objects and the right click is show objects which means they have a toggle effect now if i simply click the object which was selected will automatically get deselected and if i go over the same option and i do a right click it has a toggle effect which means the options which were which means the object which was selected which means the object which was invisible becomes visible once again i select multiple objects this time so i select multiple objects i simply come up over here and i click both the objects are hidden now if i want to see them back i can simply over the same option i just have to right click i get both the options back i get both the objects back again i selected multiple objects this time pressing the shift button i go to the more options here you have hide and here you have show so right now if i do a hide from here i can also come to the same option and can do a show with this object so now the same effect i will again select these two objects i go to hide i go to more options the third option is show selected now i do not want to now by clicking the show object i don't want all the objects which were hidden to automatically come on screen i want to select which specific object i want to see on the screen for that purposes i select this option here i have a choice i need to select the particular object which i want to see on the screen so i select the sphere i hit the enter button so now the cylinder is not so now the box is not on the screen only the object which i have selected in this case it's the sphere the sphere is appearing i can say show objects show objects will show you all the objects again i will again this time select the cylinder i will hide the cylinder now i have invert selection and hide objects so i have all the three objects on the screen i have selected the cylinder this time now what i want to do is i only want to see the cylinder on the screen and the remaining objects automatically i want to hide them now instead of selecting these two objects the box and the the box and the sphere i want to do, i want to do this with one click so first which object do i want to keep selected i will select that i come up over here for the more options i go over this tool which says invert selection and hide objects what will invert selection do the objects which are selected will get deselected and the and the objects which are deselected will get selected and then after selecting the objects it will hide them so for example i click 
now only the object which was selected is on the screen and the remaining objects are hidden you want them back on the screen you simply right click okay now I select the cylinder and I hide the cylinder I go to the more objects I go to this option I come to the swap hidden visible objects that means the objects which were hidden will become visible and the objects which are visible will get hidden there you go so this is invert the selection finally once I'm done I will just right click so that I can see all the objects now we have already gone through the options for show and hide let's let's see the next option regarding locking objects why would you lock objects assuming if you have multiple objects again on the screen let's say you have layers of diamonds and you have uh, surfaces now when you're making any modification now when you're making a, a modification you do not want the modification to happen to the diamond so what you could do is if you're not locking if you're not hiding the diamonds but you uh, you want the diamonds to appear on the screen at the same time that's the reason you are not hiding them so you will lock that layer when you lock that layer that specific layer will not be selected for example I select the cylinder I come to the more options over here I have op option saying lock object now when you lock an object you can't select it no modifications are possible for any modification first you need to select an object only then you can create the modification in this case you are disallowing any selection to the object same toggle effect if I right click it's unlock now now I select the cylinder I go to the more options and I go to the second option so first option is already unlock second is a uh, first is lock sorry first is lock objects then you have unlock objects and now you have unlock selected objects okay so now I have selected two objects and I lock them now there are multiple objects at the screen right now which have been locked so I go back to the main option and I have the next option which says unlock selected objects very similar to the show and hide when I click on this option it will show me all the objects which currently are locked so for right now I want just to unlock the cylinder so I select the cylinder and I hit the enter key which means the spear is not unlocked only the box and the cell uh, the box and the cylinder is unlocked I will unlock all the objects I select two objects this time the next option is invert selection and lock objects that means right now the cylinder is not selected and the remaining objects are selected so the cylinder will get selected that is to swap the selection and it will get locked there you go so now this is locked if I try to select it I cannot select it I will again go and say unlock objects I select the box and I lock the box the last option over here is swap locked and unlocked objects which means the objects which are locked will become unlocked and the objects which are unlocked will become locked there you go so now the box is unlocked and the objects which were unlocked are locked which include the cylinder and the spear in this video you have learned more about this specific tool to show and hide as well to lock and unlock you can access them from here or you could also access them from the next object which is to lock and unlock they are the same options it's very important in jewelry designing that you learn these two options because we'll be using them on an ongoing basis